Hey everybody, welcome to the Gootscast for Tuesday, April 7th. I'm here once again with Ashley Martins. Ashley, how are you? Hey, Ray, I'm good. Can't complain, still working, oh, but I'm still quarantining and chilling. This is my okay. highlight of the week, so I'm happy to be oh, here. Good. Yeah, I'm still quarantining and chilling. I was watching wrestling all week, but uh, we're gonna, we usually do this on Wednesday, but tomorrow I'm gonna have a special guest on the Gootscast. So I figured we'd do this today um since we were going to do two episodes but so let's just do it as one episode so yeah are you excited Woo! i am super excited especially this week too newsflash i like this episode way better than riverdale or vampire diaries okay cool so the show we're going to talk about today is ozark um yeah i i just started it i'm a couple episodes in you watched the first episode i watched Actually, the first episode yeah just the first episode right just the first one. Okay. What did you think? I actually really liked it. It, yeah. I didn't, so I went into this like not knowing at all what it was about. I just knew that my one friend who studied film in college is watching it. And I'm like, okay, well, if she's watching it, then like it has to be good. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I really liked it. I definitely was more serious. I guess I didn't know what I was thinking. Like it definitely is not a comedy. No, but it's not. Um, it definitely was interesting too. And like, I thought the acting in it was a lot better than that of Vampire Diaries or Riverdale combined. Yeah, I, I agree. The acting is definitely better than on Riverdale or, did you ever watch the second episode of Riverdale as a follow-up? No, I never ended up watching it. Okay. Me neither. I haven't watched the second episode either. Like literally after watching Ozark, I was like, wow, like I feel stupid for telling people like, oh yeah, like definitely watch Riverdale. I think if you want trash TV watch Riverdale, but then, like, if you actually want something good, then watch Ozark. Well, I mean, I, like, so, just to spoil you, I'm only, like, not to spoil you, but I'm, I'm four episodes ahead. I, I'm four okay. episodes in, and we, we, you haven't really met the actual cast yet of Ozark. Wait, um, what? Well, I guess they killed off half the people in the first episode anyway. Yeah, but the family moves to Ozarks, and then the whole town becomes the characters, and there's a lot of characters in the town. And uh, there's a 19-year-old girl on the show. She she kind of made me I, – I, I was all in until the fourth episode. And they just have her – so she's 19. She works as a dishwasher. And she has a southern accent. She steals. But she gives, like, these epic monologues for every answer. Like, somebody can be like, what did you have for lunch today? Lunch is such a complicated term. You know, the Romans once said that – like, everything is, like, this big, grand speech. And she's like 19 and like she's like teaming up with Jason Bateman, but she's also planning on betraying him. And oh. it, it just, to me, it was like the character was just so over the top ridiculous that I was like, I can't, I, I kind of lost interest. But the first episode is very good. Yeah, I really liked it. And like Jason Bateman too, like I'm really, I mean, I've seen him in like some movies too, but I like originally, I guess, was introduced to him when I was watching Anger Management or I'm sorry, Arrested Development. Arrested Development, and yeah. Arrested Development is a comedy, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, okay, like, when, am I, when is he going to crack a joke? And he hasn't done that. So, like, it's cool to see him in a completely different kind of role with yeah. Ozark, so. Yeah, the thing, the thing about, cool. about this role is that, um, the, my thing about him, he's been in so many comedies, it's kind of hard to take him seriously. Like, like, this is a very serious show, but mm -hmm. you keep waiting for you keep waiting for it to get goofy because he's goofy. So when he's there, like, I like, I thought my favorite, my favorite moment of the show is when he, the bad guys like tells the story, like my, my father, these women were stealing from my father. What should I do? Oh yeah. And, and I was like, is this a trick question? I don't yeah. know what he's going for. And Jason Bateman basically called him on it. Like he was like, dude, like, this is like, what are you doing? Like we, I know what you're doing. You know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. he just shot the wife of uh, his partner and then, Shot everybody else. Um, I am interested to see if um, how long it's thirty episodes right now on Netflix. The show's not over, but I am interested to see how far he gets with this scheme in the Ozarks. Yeah, I'm curious too. And then, like I, I mean, so by the time the pilot ended, it was like them like kind of leaving. So Ozark. like, yeah, and so I don't even know like what the Ozarks are, but like they made it seem like it was this like really lit place and then i googled pictures of it and i'm like this looks like a sleepy town yeah that's what like, it is by the great lakes but um but yeah i'm like interested to see if he's gonna be able to like like is the whole show just him getting the money 
for it, it's him this guy. it's him it's him tra- plotting the plotting his it's him plotting in the Ozarks and the town people keep getting in the way he keeps underestimating them and they're smarter than he thinks so oh, like I see yeah they, they so like the town's very shitty and he has to like basically get 500 million dollars or whatever insane amount he told this guy and so far it's 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 four episodes in he has done very little but like the the characters are getting like mixed up with the town like the daughter and this one guy they like have a love-hate relationship and the wife goes to work at a real estate office and he buys a bar, but he gets involved with this nineteen-year-old girl at the bar. Is kind of like he, they're not fucking. But Wait, that's like what? Not well, in, I he's guess not like in, his. He's not involved. It, that's like his partner. Or something. It's weird. I don't know. It's it's like. Okay. Did you see Breaking Bad? Mm. Okay. I was told the show was very comparable to Breaking Bad, though. It is. It feels like it almost sometimes feels like a ripoff because in Breaking Bad, he he has a male student and one of his he's a teacher who becomes a drug dealer and one of his students is um works with him for most of the series mm-hmm. like that's it and i feel like this little girl is like the female version of that on this show where she's like gonna I work see. with him but it's like weirder because like she's just some random girl in the ozarks that she but she finds out he has the all this cash so she's like tails him and he decides to put her to work so that she can't rat on him and stuff but then they start plotting I see. we'll see i don't know i don't know how interesting. it ends up interesting She's that girl. Like I got, I got spoiled. This is not a spoiler, but that girl is still on the show in season three. I guess now she's twenty one. But the character. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't even realize this was like that big of a show, and then I see it like pop up all the time as like the top like mm-hmm. ten in the U S. or something. What was your favorite scene on the show in the first episode? Ooh, I don't know. Like, well, first of all, I didn't. It was kind of cringy seeing like the wife with her like love partner and he's super old yeah and like i guess like okay this might sound like kind of weird i guess but like my favorite scene in the show well i guess i have a couple so like i think that like them like the whole like battle see, not battle it's like them shooting the people stuff oh I think, executing like, the people yeah i think like that was really realistic and like very like it made me feel unsettled when they were even putting the bodies in like the tanks of acid or whatever mm-hmm. so like I think, like, that was one of my favorites just because, like, I was like, whoa, like, you did a great job of making me feel unsettled and, like, kudos to you guys. However, funny part, though, I mean, but this was kind of sad. When he was in the car, like, jerking off, I thought it was hilarious when, like, you thought, like, oh, my gosh, like, he actually hired a hooker. Mm -hmm. And then the person, like, I think his coworker or whatever, like, knocked on the window and was like, hey, like, you can't do that in this parking lot. Oh, the hooker, the real hooker was like, yeah, get out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, my God. But that was kind of funny. But yeah, so I guess like that was my funny scene that I liked. And then like that my unsettled scene was like the people getting their brains blown out. Yeah, that was intense. So you would uh, you would keep watching. Are you going to keep watching? I think I want to. So like I'm actually like I'm like in between shows right now. Um, so <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a new show to watch. And I actually really like this one. Okay, cool. So, so Ozark gets a thumbs up from Ashley. That's awesome. Yeah, we'd uh, definitely binge it. Yeah, so binge it. So I almost wanted to change the name of it to binge or purge. So you would definitely, because I like that. Uh, but you would definitely go with binge, right? I would definitely go with binge. Listen, it is on the top charts of Netflix for a reason. And yeah, definitely watch it. Okay. So now we're going to go to a different thing, something that we both watched all the way through. And we highly recommend it. We're gonna, I'm going to spoil it. We both say uh, binge this. Uh, and it's going to be Tiger King. Tiger King opened my eyes to a community of people that I never thought ever walked this earth. These people are actually insane. Yeah. And once again, like, I had no idea there was, like, a group like this. But it's a cult of people that hoard these big cats. And, yeah, it's just ridiculous. And then, like, it's weird to me that they, like, put it together in zoos. Mm-hmm. But it's like their zoos, their backyard, and then like they're all like into polyamorous relationships, which like you know, fine, whatever, you do you. But it's just interesting that they all have that same quality about them. Uh, I I watched this whole show in one day. I I heard everybody talking about it on 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 Facebook and Twitter, 
And I'm like, all right, let me see what it's all about. And I watched like one episode and then I watched the second episode. And then we, I got to the twist in the third, at the start of the third, that she killed the husband, mm-hmm. Carol Baskin. And then I watched, and then like the first episodes, I was like, all right, this is cool, but I'm going to like do other stuff around the house. And then once I got to the third episode, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm all in. Fuck doing, th- dude, fuck doing anything else today. And I watched, <laughs> um, I watched them all in one, in one day. How fast did it take you to watch the whole thing? It was pretty quick for me. Like it, well, considering I don't watch like a bunch of TV, like I can't like binge watch shows for whatever reason, but like it took me in total, I'd say like three, four days, which like is very quick for me to watch a show. Oh, wow. Three, four days. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, see, I see. That's, that's an Ashley Martin's binging, but I know I'm not like everybody else. I know other people binge a lot quicker. Yeah. I just, I, I mean, there's nothing else to do right now. So I was like, I'm going to watch the whole fucking thing. Uh, do, what was your favorite episode? Ah, oh, all of them. Um, uh-huh. I'm trying to think. The one where like she killed, like Carol Baskin killed her husband, was very interesting. And I was like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, kind of like you said, like that was one episode where, granted, like I think I was kind of hooked from the beginning. But like, if I wasn't hooked before, like I was for sure like all in. After it was like Carol Baskin killed her husband. So great placement on the documentary uh, producer's part, I think, of putting it as third. And not saving that towards the end because I feel like that was something that should have been like discussed in the beginning or more yeah. towards the beginning. Yeah, no, I thought that was my favorite episode. You can almost watch that episode as a mini documentary. You don't need to watch anything else before or after. You right. can just watch that episode alone. And I really, really liked it. And and then at the end of the episode where the they I, I don't know if you remember, but they ended it with the family of the husband who was murdered being like, uh, we're scared of Carol Baskin. <laughs> And yeah. then it cuts to the Tiger King being like, I'm going to kill me some guy. I'm like, fuck Carol Bass. <laughs> and you're like, all right. And then you're all in because you're like, oh, shit, this guy's, this guy's going for her. But she, right. is, uh, she is a motherfucker. She is not a nice woman. And I think, too, like, because originally, like, with the first, like, before that episode, all you saw was like, oh, yeah, fuck Carol Baskin. Like, it was just like him just saying, like, fuck her. And we were like, we don't know her and then the documentary people were like um we should probably explain more yeah and here you go you can hate her just as much as we probably hate her too but then like what wait i'm sorry say what you're gonna say oh no i was just like but all these people like not just her are absolute scumbags like the scum of the earth i think but yeah the one guy i liked was the guy with no legs i felt bad for him because i feel like he actually Mm -hmm. really liked the animals yeah and um what is it sars i liked a lot too she was the one who like um oh with no arm yeah yeah she got her rb i love that he like makes the announcement at the gift shop and he's like why don't you all come back another day because he didn't (laughs) want to give the refunds he goes i'm never gonna recover this financially and then it just that's it that it was really so many funny moments on this fucking thing i know like this and then like his youtube channel like did you see like the crazy green screen backgrounds that he had Mm-hmm. And half time he was like, Carol Baskin, it's your birthday. So here's what you're going to get. And then he like pulls out a rattlesnake. And he like, sure enough, she opened her mailbox and she got rattlesnakes for her oh, birthday. Really? I thought that did happen. I don't think Unless that I... happened because then I think he would have got arrested sooner. Oh, okay. That. Yeah. I think this would have been a really short, much shorter documentary. I do mm-hmm. think he got set up. I-, I think Carol Baskin was working with the guy. I think his name was Joe. Jeff? The- Jeff, yes, I think, I, think Jeff, I, yeah. I almost feel like they were working together, and like you know, um, because yeah. like uh, he kind of just like the whole thing with him ki- having someone go to kill her. I think he was kind of like half joking about it. I don't think he really meant it, right? And like, like think about it. For years, he had been saying on YouTube and to mm-hmm. people like that he worked with, like "fuck Carol Baskin," like if I don't kill her, someone like whatever, like he was making all these comments about killing her in the first place. And it's like, okay, if you're going to be saying about that, about someone for years, wouldn't you have just done it already? Yeah. I think he kind of got set up by those two guys. I don't think, you know, people are like, well, he's an asshole. Well, he was, he was like a drug addict. And I think you definitely think that relationship led to that kid killing himself. How insane was that when the kid yeah. killed himself in front of uh, the campaign manager? That was nuts. Yeah. Nuts. And then, like, what's crazy to me, too, is, like, he took men who were heterosexual and were, like, I can give you drugs and tiger cubs. And these guys were, like, okay. Yeah, I don't know how. went for it. 
I, I don't I couldn't I can't convince I mean I don't do drugs but I can't convince women to just I don't know like I couldn't convince a lesbian to be my like love slave at my house at least right, I've like, never I, tried but I don't think I you could need, you mean you can't persuade them with your dogs and cats I have dogs and cats doesn't work as well by the way a tiger <laughs> is cheaper than Matilda Matilda cost me like uh, 2300 a tiger was only two grand remember he said what? that what yeah. What? You could have literally had a tiger this entire time. Yeah, yeah. But Matilda's like a tiger. But like, don't That's like true. puppies are not cheap, uh, especially like, you know, the br the br the breed I got. You know, Matilda's a good looking dog. Say what you will. You're ugly. <laughs> Say what you will. She's just looking at me now. Say what you will about like whatever. But like, she's a good looking Boston Terrier. You know what I mean? Right. Those cost a lot of money. Um, I didn't realize tigers though are cheaper than fucking puppies. That's insane. I didn't excuse me, I didn't realize that either. And I didn't realize, like, even at the end when they had, um, like, all those statistics where it's, like, this many, what is it, like, 5,000 or some ridiculous number of, like, tigers live in captivity or something. And I'm like, how the hell are that many tigers being passed around? Where are you keeping them? They're not small. I know. Like, I don't, like, I always thought they were, like, super dangerous. Are they not that dangerous? How, like, how the fuck are people just living with these tigers? They have to be. SARS got her arm bit off. Yeah, I, I I don't understand. I don't understand why you would want. I just don't. I don't know. But and they're it was, expensive to maintain too. Like they eat meat. They eat a lot. Well, they were giving them the expired meat off Walmart, which probably, uh, which it's probably, not good. Uh, yeah. I also think the other reason why I think Carol and Jeff working together is she. Carol's not going after Jeff's uh, zoo, although Jeff's zoo isn't really technically open yet. I don't think it'll ever open. I think Jeff's is a that the? Artist. Oh yeah. Remember, he's going to open up a new zoo in Texas. Right. Or something? Well, then also, can we please discuss the other guy who, what is it? He had, like, the long ponytail. No one seemed to touch him. Nobody cared about him. But he's equally as bad. Oh, the guy with the, with the harem of women. And he's yeah. making them eat roach, roach sandwiches. Yes. Okay, and yeah, literally that guy. keeping them as slaves, like, getting virgins, keeping them on, keeping them on his farm or zoo and they work, or whatever. They work seven days a week. It's ridiculous. By the way, his his uh, tiger thing is open yeah. even during the corona. He's they're working, they're open and working right now. Yeah, somehow they got Florida is a very weird state. The WWE is still wrestling in in Florida. He, they, they, they branded WWE as essential workers. I guess he got it branded an essential worker. I don't understand. What? I think yeah, I think a lot of these people just like throw the Florida government money. Florida is a weird state. I don't get how Tiger Park. And the WWE are essential workers. I don't. So wait, that. is Carol Baskin still open? I know she for no, sure. No, she was closed her place for Corona. I looked her. I looked up her um, Instagram and stuff, and she she. Wow. She, what a lovely woman. What a love. What a love. That oh, she how obnoxious too was the husband. Oh. oh. Well, wait, I saw this meme, and it was like for sure Carol Baskin's husband has sex with his socks on. For yes. sure, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, that that wedding photo where he's dressed like a he's dressed like her caveman slave or whatever. That oh was my god! Weird. And then at the end when he was literally singing to her. Yeah. I'm like, please, no one ever what sing to me like that. He's a real. <sighs> I I've never used the term cuck, but that is a cuck. Carol Baskin's husband. I and then all her hey all you cool cats and kittens. I'm like, congratulations, Carol Baskin. You have become one of Instagram's top. Um, or Instagram or whatever top captions. Congratulations. Oh yeah. oh yeah, people all use that now. Yeah, uh, there's, there's so many memes about the show that are so funny. That, you know. Right, and then it was yeah. like, oh, what was it? It was like the kingdom we wanted, and it was showing some Game of Thrones thing. But then it's like the kingdom we got, and it showed Joe Exotic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll say this: if Joe Exotic had been made president, um, New York City would, would probably at least had the ventilators. So that, that's one thing to say about Joe Exotic. That's true. Do you think he would have made a good president or governor? No, but he would have done better than whatever is going on right now. So, <laughs> I think that's nuts. And like, do you think? I don't know. I think like his current husband too is also heterosexual as well. I like, think so too. I just don't understand how this guy gets these young, good-looking guys. Like these, all three guys, except for the one without the teeth. But before he lost his teeth, he was. They're all like pretty good-looking. It's like almost like they could be like uh, uh, Disney Channel models or something. Yeah. Like the second husband, I was like, "Damn, okay, like he's cute," and yeah, yeah I don't know. I 
drugs. I, don't know, like, I mean, drugs. I guess that had to have been it. Like he pro- like they said they pro- he promised them like guns and like you know then I guess you know the baby tigers are appealing. Mm-hmm. But still, I, think, I don't think that's appealing enough for me to get married or be I mean, someone's sex slave. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we just talking about my, the last situation, my, the last person I wanted to be involved with. I was like, yeah, let's stop drinking. Let's let's do this. Let's do that. And now they're selling weed brownies on a corner. So you know, you know, yeah. like it's easier, it's easier to get involved with someone who's going to give in to all your urges than to be like, hey, you know what? You can be a better person. Nobody wants to be a better person, especially at twenty one. Well, maybe you want to be a better person. I don't know. Do you? Well, but if you think, I mean, I would like to think, yes, I'd like to be a better person. <laughs> However, then, you know, please consult my box of wine that I have in my closet. So. All right, but, that, but you're not banging some guy named Joe Exotic for the box of wine every night. Uh, that, this is true. Yeah. I can afford my own wine. Yeah. But yeah, like, you're right. He got these guys who were at, they were 19 years old at the time. Mm-hmm. What the hell? I have to say the funniest scene was the funeral for the second husband. Uh, I think his name was Travis, right? Yeah, Travis. Uh, with the mom there and the sisters there, and he just starts singing one of his shitty songs. Oh my god, and he has like a freaking memorial. Also, is that really him singing or like? No, that was a is... band. That, that there's an article you can look it up. That's that was never him singing. But how funny was the "Here Kitty Kitty" music video where he ripped he on hired... her, killing a lookalike? She looked just like carol baskin i'm like how the hell did carol baskin agree to do this but she looked identical Mm -hmm. to carol baskin but yeah and then you could tell carol baskin was gonna be a shit show from the beginning because literally one of the first things she said was like yeah i didn't have like many friends growing up and it was just me and my cats and i'm like that's a crazy that's the problem cat people are so cat i I, believe me remember that woman stole my cat we we talked about that yeah uh and, cat people are just fucking lunatics and i guess it's like the same thing too like and i mean i guess i can see how it's addicting like if you have a cat and like your cat's cute and they play and like you know mm-hmm. i guess the next logical thing is okay well instead of a dog i'm gonna get another cat and then one cat turns into i 50. mean i'll be honest same with you with I, big cats. I don't think i could deal with a third dog but i could definitely deal with a second cat because they eat, eat, the best thing about cats is they go to the bathroom by themselves. Right, you don't they have clean to, themselves. They clean themselves. You don't have to really do anything. And if the cat loves you, like my cat likes me now, the cat just comes by and, and, and the cat's right behind me. I don't know if you can see. Mm-hmm, see the cat yeah. right there? The yeah. cat, when the cat loves you, the cat just has your back and you have to do a lot. Um, whereas a dog, you have to constantly take care of the dog. Like they both, especially Matilda. Matilda's a lot of work. You know, it's like a full-time job. A cat's not. So I can see like why you would want to get like three or four cats because it's just like they do everything themselves. It's like having these little, but at the same time, cat people are very obnoxious and they should be murdered. So anyway. And it's almost like, you know, like you have like regular cat people and they're just like their own level of. Yeah. Like regular cat people. But then you have like the big cat people and Mm -hmm. like, that's like, like infinite levels higher of like, craziness it, it's so that. funny peanut is looking at, 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 at you right now being like what the fuck are you talking about cat people for like <laughs> you take that back <laughs> oh, all right so i've got to do a zoom birthday party in i think an hour so i'm going to get this ready and put up so we're gonna we're gonna cut the episode here but actually what do you well, yeah well no, not even pregame i just want to put everything up so i can like sit I guess I don't know what you do in a Zoom birthday party. I guess you just sit like this with a with a beer. That's hey! what I, that's I mean, that's what I did for like our Zoom happy hours at work. It was just like, hi everybody. Oh you, oh, you guys do a Zoom happy hour at work? Yeah, it was actually really funny. The one guy was like walking around with his kids outside, and he was just outright drinking a beer as he was walking wow. around with his kids, telling them, "Don't cross the road." <laughs> it was it a whole so, hour? How long were you on this thing? It was about an hour. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, here we go. People had a lot to say. Okay, well, uh, well, we all well, we used to work together as comedians, but now comedy doesn't exist. Actually, next week I'm gonna give you this assignment right now. We're gonna switch to Hulu. All right, Ooh, we're gonna okay. go to Hulu. Do you have Hulu? Yeah. Well, we have the free trial right now. I think my parents are gonna buy it, so okay. I will hop on their free trial. So use their free trial. You're gonna watch the first episode. Of, well, first of all, if you already saw the show, we're gonna move on. One Tree Hill. Have you ever seen that show? No, I haven't, but right. I know people that have watched it. All right, your sisters. No, friends, actually. Oh, okay. My sisters, I don't think I've ever watched it. I think Allison is might that, have. Is that maybe, the one with the fairy tale people? 
No, that's Once Upon a Time. Okay, well, my no, sisters so, have seen Once Upon a Time. Okay, I think I think Allison watched One Tree Hill. I'm not, I I could have swore she said it to me one day when we were filming. I don't know. Maybe maybe I, maybe I imagine that. My sisters watch lots of TV, so okay. I feel like they probably would have. All right, so tomorrow, I mean tomorrow, next week, we're going to do One Tree Hill on Hulu, the first episode, and then we're going to get your recommendation. Uh, Ashley, do you want to promote your podcast again? Yeah, sure. So check me out. Uh, I'm on a podcast with one of my best friends. Her name's Helen Ross. Um, we are on a podcast called Dude, Let Me Tell You, and we post every Tuesday. Woo, so you would say binge it for Tucker King and binge, binge it for Ozarks. Yes. For sure. Right. But I would say, since Ozark's more of a commitment, binge Tiger King first, so this way you're up to date with all the memes, and then do yeah. Ozark. Yeah, because you, you can do Tiger King in one day. All right, Ashley, I'll see you next week for One Tree Hill. Thanks, guys. Have a great night, Ashley. Thanks. You too, Ray. Bye.